Hey, it's Prerak and today we're discussing everything that I've done to my 2016 Polo GT. I don't even know where to begin with this. The list is just so long. So let's just begin with the interior, which is the easiest. First off, you can see that I have electric seats. These are Skoda Superb seats, and I have a separate video on these. Uh, and I have a video for everything that I will show, almost everything that I will show in this video. And it has an entirely separate playlist, so you can check that out. And first off, you can see the seats are different. These are Skoda Superb seats, and the upholstery is uh, basically just GTI tartan fabric in the middle, and rest is normal fabric, leather back, everything that a, a GTI gets. Uh, pretty much the same except i don't think they get the leather but i i got that added the trims were painted black for the seat because these come beige so that's changed the mats are changed which is not really a mod i would i wouldn't say it's i don't know if, if it counts uh, a lot of people ask me for those metal uh, brake pedals and accelerator pedals these came with my car i didn't add these but you can get them separately from the service center or from my shop linked in the description and next part is the steering the most obvious one as you sit in the car you can see the steering is different this steering wheel is out of a mark 8 gti which was not offered in india no golf was really offered in india but you can get their parts so this is out of a mark 8 gti as you can see this is touch these are capacitive touch buttons if you kill the ignition the buttons go away nothing works <laughs> but if you give it ignition the power comes to the wheel and the buttons present themselves now it has heated steering wheel option as well which is not active yet i am yet to do that there is a lot of things that are there, there are a lot of things that i'm still going to toot to the car because this video was in the works for a really really long time i was thinking i'll do it i'll do it but there are always mods in the pipeline so i think i'm at this point where the next mod is going to be a little far from now i think a month maybe i don't know so I thought let's just make this video and we can give it an update uh, down the years. So yeah, this is the steering cruise control is on the steering wheel and even the head unit is changed. You can see this is the RCT 340 which comes with Apple CarPlay as you can see app it comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto mirror link and no phone really supports it anymore. So this car came with an RCT 330 but it has upgraded to the RCT 340. You can see a new button here and this card holder which is just it just holds receipts and everything in its place so that's uh, rapids used to get it i think it's rapid yeah everything is discontinued now so rapids used to get these and the extra button here is park assist park pilot whatever it is the 8k ops system it sensors all around the car as you can see it displays if i am uh, going to hit an obstacle up front and at the rear it gets activated when you reverse it gets activated when you come near an obstacle or if you hit the physical button this is different and yeah i i added a button that right there the set button i added that button uh, and i i have a team bhp post on that i don't have a video on it if i click that button you will see a light pops up in my cluster that is to tell me this is actually a tire uh, deflate indicator the odd, that audi is and all get but you can retrofit it in the automatic variants of the polo or vento even rapid uh, this basically just tells me when my tire is deflated it won't tell me the particular pressure it is on or any tire of, of for that matter but it will tell me when one particular tire if any are deflated and i have a team where you post on that i will just leave that in the description so you can check it out Over here I have an auto headlight switch which just turns on the lights if it's in a dim area as you can see the parking is pretty dim so it turns on the headlights and it it even comes with the coming home leaving home feature I have a separate video on this entirely as well so do check that out rest of the things in the interior are that uh, light as you can see that ring and that glow back there Uh, I added this uh, cigarette lighter 12 volt socket with a ring on it from these used to come in older polo so I got it out of a older folks so again I installed in this it was plug and play the it was a lot of work to get it in I have a video on this as well uh, you can check that out and you can see it glows a red glow uh, in the area behind it as well this gear knob this is a carbon fiber dipped gear knob this is not actual carbon fiber it is dipped carbon fiber so I got that and installed on the car it looks slightly better than the OEM one it is plasticky though i mean 
how often do you even use the gear now i mean you just put it in gear and drive away so it's fine uh, the original one had has leather on the sides so that was kind of worn out so i got this one which looks better and this badge it says that red force sun sun man on it it was a gift to me by drive nation india i'll leave a link to their instagram down below if you want this for your car as well regardless of which car you have if you have a volkswagen if you have whichever car you have they make uh, such badges for almost every car now so it was a gift to me by them and i'm so grateful for it, it looks so good in the interior just it looks really good otherwise otherwise this place was entirely empty and plastic so it didn't used to look good and still in the interior uh the gti a pillars those a pillars have tweeters in them which were i don't have a video on this i think i'll address this when i do the speaker upgrade which is due i have the speakers with me but i just don't get the time to install them i will figure out when i can install them because when i once i open up the door card i need to damp it as well so it is it is a lot of work so i'm thinking i'll uh, spend good time on it instead of doing it quickly and not doing a good job i think i'll spend my time on each door card so that video is separate i think i'll address the tweeters better then but as you can see the gti a pillars are installed in this car and they have tweeters in them the sound quality is so much improved just by the stock speakers in there but i will upgrade those still and there are seat belts this is a really recent mod even the upholstery is a recent mod but Uh, the red seat belts were before this and you can see the gray panel i'll paint that black so the red seat belts pop out even more i'm thinking for a black roof as well i'm sort of contemplating because the interior looks really small if it's entirely black but still let's see what the future holds so far red seat belts they look really really good they match the red color of the car as well and once someone is wearing these it just looks uh, totally different To wrap up the interior, I just have LED footwell lights on all the four footwells. These lights actually come installed in the superb seats, but even previously when I had older stock Polo seats, I had installed LED footwell lights in the rear as well because there is a harness for it and I have an entirely different video on it so you can check that out through my playlist. Two more of those footwell lights were added in the boot as well, acting as boot lights. I installed these uh, I think a few months ago. I have a video on these as well and everyone who sees these asks me if i got them done from volkswagen because they think that it came with the car or i got it done by them because their car does not have it it's just footwell lights uh, i have slotted them into this trim i have cut a precise rectangular hole and just installed them and wired them the harness and the lights are available from my shop as well and i have a separate video on this as well so you can check that out one thing that i have been meaning to fix in the boot is this parcel tray I've I'll, I'll I'll get that too. The car just looks so so messed up, and I try to cover it up slightly, but uh, yeah, it just needs a new parcel. This is three thousand from Volkswagen. Why is it so expensive? And no spare part or scrapyard uh, shop has these, so it's okay for now. Moving on to the exterior right away, you can see the car has got an entire facelift. This is a 2016 uh, car, so it had the older Type 2 bumper, Type 2 tail lights. Uh, the spoiler has not been changed. Spoiler is stock GT spoiler. I really like this. And why we're on the roof? The antenna. That's a shark fin antenna that I have installed. These used to be offered in uh, some superbs, higher trim superbs, and these didn't have an antenna chip in them. They just they are just dummies. So I install, I remove the chip out of my stock antenna, and I soldered it onto this one. So it still does not work, but it th- does not throw an error. That's that's important. So yeah. new tail lights new bumper this is an extended lip that i got from esperer motors uh, i leave a link for their shop in the description as well the rear bumper for, was from hna autozone again link in the description i got these from olx from a friend of mine uh, he upgra- upgraded to q2 tail lights so i got these stock tail lights from him and what else uh, there's a three fin diffuser you can see the forged carbon fiber exhaust by expec automotive the three fin diffuser i don't remember who i got it from i don't remember uh, maybe expec automotive i'm not sure and in the rear you can see that i've uh, did i have done a custom paint job on the logo almost every polo gets uh, almost every polo owner does this and it looks really neat so I, if you have a polo i recommend you do this too just paint the backing plate of the of your car uh, of the color of a car and the logo in black looks really good i haven't done this in the front i have done something different in the front and i'll show that later on the side you can see 17 inch rims michelin primacy 4st 
tires the size is 215 45 17 it must be written somewhere there it is 215 45 17 and the rims are uh, lenzo yagadanas by expect automotive back there you can see a yellow strut why is it yellow because uh, it has mts uh, dampers all around and it has eye back lowering springs i think the drop is 30 35 or 30 30 something along those lines you can see the rear brakes are drum right now i'm soon replacing them to disc that's coming that's in the pipeline a lot of things are in the pipeline right away you can see r line side skirts again expect automotive uh, is there anything on the side that i've done not really just a sticker of car surgeons their shop will be linked in the description as well because this car has been a group project i haven't done this alone a lot of people have contributed something or the other to this car and up front you can see the front end is updated as well obviously so it is a type 3 bumper it is not a gti bumper it is a type 3 bumper and you can see the front parking sensors as well i have done a fog lamp drl retrofit to this car that i think i have linked no i have a video on that as well i have a video on that as well you can check it out in my playlist so the front end has been updated the grill is a, a gti grill i blacked out the i i didn't want to cut it because it wouldn't look neat uh, so the i has been blacked out rest is in black chrome now all the paint has been done at car surgeons the bumper or any other paint that you see on the car it's done with car surgeons so the black chrome volkswagen logo i didn't do the black and red theme up front because it looks a little tacky up front i just have i just have that in the back so i got this done in black chrome even this strip as you can see done in black chrome it it was chrome earlier and all the uh, grills uh, the plastic grills they have been painted to gloss black so it looks slightly uh, better slightly neater uh, even the small uh, spoiler folks i can call these spoiler something so i'll just call them spoilers as well the front small spoilers have been done in gloss black as well and on, over on the headlights i have eyelids these are from esper motors as well i think even the grill is from esper motors and in the headlights i have led bulbs philips ultronons i think i have a video i don't have a video on that oops and in the headlights i have philips ultronon bulbs these are ultronon pro 9000 g3 something along those lines you can get them from my shop as well so uh, i think the qual uh, the quality is really top notch there's no other bulb that can come close to this not in terms of output but in terms of quality the beam pattern that it makes is really something that you cannot get from any other bulb you can get a 120 watt bulb 150 watt bulb anything that you want but the beam pattern these make is incomparable uh, these are really really sharp let's shift our focus to the engine now Uh, this is a stage 2 tuned with pops and bangs engine it has a, a dcat downpipe by blackworks uh, which you cannot see because i've reinstalled the heat shield i had to make sure that the heat shield was installed because the downpipe gets really really hot and over here you can see a fabia vrs intake i have a separate video on the entire intake procedure i have a can and filter here i have an entirely uh, separate video for the uh, procedure this is a euro duct installed there is a deflector in it this is the pipe which i have video on and you'll understand this section a lot better if you watch it there is a canon filter inside of it this is a stock replacement canon filter there is nothing fancy done to the engine bay as you can see uh, ignore the dirt i'm sorry i have been uh, detailed in a while uh, the turbo has not been upgraded it is at stage 2 right now there is no point to take this engine to stage 3 at stage 2 tuners claim 140 130 a uh, bhp but i dynoed this after the stage to tune by gt tuners and this had the output of 125 horsepower and a 240 newton meters of torque so this engine is really really limited that is why there are all the bells and whistles uh, all over the car but the engine is i mean it's it's tiny it's not too powerful it does spit flames it has pops and bangs which is fun it is a fun engine for a daily drive city car but you cannot really push it if you uh, even if you push it i mean you won't uh, fetch much power out of it it is a single overhead cam shaft as you can see so it does not have any high end power as you have as you must have read already i mean this is a pretty common uh, problem with these engines and in the engine bay you should have seen a strut here a uh, pneumatic strut which would lift up the bonnet itself i had removed that because i was facing some complexity but i will have a separate video on that maybe when i install it again 
For this engine, actually, you can run a divorce cooling setup, which basically means that your block will be cooled by a, a separate uh, coolant line. Your charged air cooler will be running with a separate coolant line. Basically, you will run them both separately. So there will be a separate intercooler for your charged air. So that would reduce the IITs by a lot, and that can fetch more power. Some owners have done it, but it hasn't been really significant difference. So I basically I just I just thought that it's just let the engine be. At stage two, it's fine. The amount of power it's putting out, it doesn't need any more. I don't need a stage three. I don't need to do anything else with this engine. At some point, I thought I'd put in a 1.8 in this. The complications for that are endless. The car won't be reliable. This will be an entirely different project car then, and I might swap a two liter into it later on in the time if I have a second reliable car. And I think that's everything done to the car so far. And if you think about the things that I, I haven't done, if you are thinking that I have done everything, that is not true. Big brake it, that's still pending and in the pipeline. Rear disc brake conversion because it's the drum right now, that's still in the pipeline. If you think about the cluster, it's a stock Polo cluster, cluster right now, and it needs a Maxi Dot to be honest. Maxi Dot is just much better. It has plenty of settings. It has plenty of things that you can do, and it has two dials in the at the bottom as well. The cluster just looks a lot better in terms of the head unit. I can get a Discover Media which has nav built into it, and it will work in sync with the Maxi Dot. These are all the things that are still possible in this car. Even a center armrest. I never really felt the need for a center armrest with an automatic. I think it would be better in a manual. But uh, yeah, center armrest. I don't think I'll be getting it. But there's still scope of it if I wanted to. But with that. The amount of modifications left are really less. There is no no more power that I can churn out of the car. There are no drag races that I can win with this car because it's not the most powerful one out there. So I think there was a need for a new project car. Don't you think? Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.